Friday, Governor Walker announced suddenly that he was refusing to negotiate with anybody who worked for the state. So not only would he not negotiate with people on this, he will never negotiate with them again. He will remove their right to collectively bargain. There's a war brewing, folks. And I don't mean to say that word lightly at all. This is really going to affect people's lives. American wage earners are under a ruthless attack by a new group of cold-hearted Republican governors around the country. And in the state of Wisconsin, newly elected Republican Governor Scott Walker is trying to balance the budget on the backs of school teachers, prison guards, and snowplow drivers. Walker arrived with a smiling face, but the protesters were giving him an earful. Right. 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 I came here on Valentine's Day. We've been here every day since. Some nights sleeping in the Capitol. We'll go home when we win the fight. This is a fight for the soul of the middle class. This is about collective bargaining, the right for people to uh, have a say-so in wages, hours, and working conditions, and people understand this fight. You say cut back, we can't fight back. You say cut back, we can't fight back. This is about all the unions coming together for one common cause. This is about what we do. This is about unionism. This is the greatest thing I've ever seen, honestly. destroy the unions, they're trying to take the uh, bargaining rights from workers, and we're not going to stand for that. Stand up! We're ready to fight! We're ready to march! We're ready to fight! Corporate America and their Republican right-wing friends have declared war on the working class. And let me tell you, I welcome that war, because they've got more to lose than we do, and we're going to kick their ass. Millionaire back Republican government's ass and get him 